Okay, so I'm um, gonna just show like reading a JSON file in PureScript, I guess. Like it's uh, something that we commonly do, right? Like, um, let's say I made like a config.json file and it's like got like a, I don't even know, ooh, what was that? Anyway, mm, and let's say it's like fruit and we say banana or something, I don't know. Let's like pulp in it first, and we're gonna need like two things, right? We're gonna need to like uh, read in the file, and that's async, and we're gonna need to like parse the JSON in some way, some way. And so let's start off by doing like a script node fsf, so it's like the node file system package wrapped in a pure script way, using f for the async interaction. I'll get more into that. And then I also need to have something for parsing the JSON. So I'm just going to use like a prescript simple JSON, which is a package I wrote using um, some real list stuff. But yeah, uh, let's build first. And da -da 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 -da. There's a lot of stuff to build here. Uh, also, like, I'm a madman, so I'm using the debug build. It should be, like, twice as fast on a normal computer, on a normal setup. Anyway, let's get this. Uh, I guess probably everything works. The first thing we want to do is, like, replace this with, like, uh, async stuff. So we're going to use launch f. And then in here, everything will need to turn into like F stuff. So let's, if we do log, then we should log out using F. And yeah, that's the beginnings of it. Um, let's just run this for the hell of it. And I'll say ASDFL, whatever, whatever. Um, let's see. So first we want to, what? Um, read the file and it's like UTF-8 encoding or whatever, right? So do like uh, contents and we'll do the text file. Choose the one that ha is from F and it requires a encoding, so UTF-8 and it requires a file path, which is just a type alias for string. So config.json. Do it again, hit run, and oh, oops, I should probably actually log that up. Who knew? See this, and fruit banana comes back, and it has all the new, new lines and whatever. Okay, so one of the cool things that Pierce can do is that we can actually use the record type directly for a bunch of stuff. It's not just a product type, like in many other languages with this kind of syntax. So we can actually just make a type alias that says like config, and it's a record type, as a field of fruit, and it's a string. Uh, oops, too much J jargon. And yeah, we have this, and we can actually just use this now to read stuff. And of course, like, um, we need to like, the parsing stuff runs in accept, and we want to convert that to an either and whatever. So we'll just write a thing that says like uh, parse config, and this will be like for all. Uh, actually, do I even declare any variables? Probably not, because it just needs to go from string into uh, either of a string error, and then needs to come back with my config. And this only shows the error because I decided to save my file here. Otherwise, like I could just do this and it probably will have no idea. Oh yeah, I need to import either. And yeah, it'll say like whatever, whatever. It'll give me some really useless uh, suggestions, but really like just be doing this and saying, uh, let's read JSON. And I had this method in simple JSON that says for everything with read foreign, 
I can pass in a string and get back a uh, f a and f is a type alias for except error or whatever. So if we do a we JSON s, it's gonna say like yeah uh, what? I need to import this. It's gonna say except t can't match either, and it's like whatever. We kind of already know that, but if we do like a run except on this stuff at least we're gonna get we're gonna go from except to either right and it's still gonna say okay the left side is in on the list for an error this obviously doesn't work so we'll just mash a left map in here where we say okay just apply this function on the left side and we'll do show because you know like the left side here um the non empty list of errors, like they can obviously be turned into a string. And so we'll just do that. Um, there's probably some better way to do this, but whatever. We don't care. And then let's do parse config on this, on the contents. And of course, like the problem becomes that uh, this, like, well, other than that, this isn't like the F, whatever. We need to handle like the either. So it's like case parse config of, and let's say uh, if it's the right side where like our config like uh, actually actually uh, parse correctly, then we can actually do like uh, config dot whatever, like fruit. And if it's less, uh, oh yeah. And if I save it here, then I'll say like, uh, Probably was worried about this thing, but this is obviously not a completed thing, as in the left side branch isn't uh, taken care of. I wonder if I could, oh yeah, I forgot. You can, it actually inserts the partial thing. So if it doesn't match, then it'll crash. So it gives you the partial country. Now there's something new to me. But other than that, error on the left side and it's a string, so it's, log it out directly yeah um, that's about it and if we go back here and we do pop run then we'll get banana because it parsed it correctly so let's go back to our thing and we're just gonna make it missing if you run it again it'll tell you like hey try to like get a string out but then it was undefined and this is crap and we can go back and we can also like uh, give it like a integer or something and it'll say the same thing. It's like, hey, we're trying to look for a string, but then we got a number, this is crap. So yeah, this is about it. And then you might want to put in um, your like suggested stuff and then you'll have to import all of these uh, stuff into your buffer, or you can just be lazy like me and just use some wildcards and say, uh, I can't be bothered.